Hey everybody, it's Marcus. I'm here today to talk to you about your power walls and whether you should use self-powered mode or time-based control and which one works better for me. Just some of the basics here. I've got a 12.24 kilowatt array. That's 36 340 watt panels and we have three power walls that are 40 and a half kilowatt hours of storage capacity. All of our panels are east facing so we produce most of our energy before noon. Now what you're going to see here is the settings screen in your app. This gives you many different choices, one of them being self-powered or time-based control. I know when I got my system I was pretty confused about which one would be better, so hopefully this video helps you pick which one you'd like to use. At the top you can see the slider for the backup reserve. What this does is allow you to select a level that your power walls will keep in them regardless of what setting you have it on, just in case there's an outage. Here I have it set on self-powered mode, which prioritizes powering your house, then uses the excess solar to charge the battery, and when the batteries are all full, it sends that excess back to the grid. The other option is time-based control, which allows you to only use your power walls during the peak or partial peak periods where electricity is super expensive. This is what's known as peak shaving and allows you to avoid using the grid during those most expensive times. At the bottom, you can see the edit custom rate plan button that allows you to assign time periods for your peak and partial peak periods uh, during the weekdays and the weekends. So here's some data on time-based control. As you can see in the graphs from the app here, basically during that four hour period, we're using about 10% of the power walls, uh, four to five kilowatt hours or so. During those off-peak times, you can see here you're using the grid otherwise. One important thing to note is that when you are using the grid, even if you're sending an excess back to the grid, you are going to be charged a non-bypassable charge. For us with PG&E here, it's about 3 to 4 cents per kilowatt hour. Here we have self-powered mode. As you can see here, we're using a little bit more of the power walls, uh, about 30 to 40 percent overnight. But at the same time, we're not using the grid at all. Here's a really net negative day. The day after that just is a little bit positive because we did four loads of laundry. The important thing to note here on these screens is that we're 100% self-sufficient. That means we're not paying any of those non-bypassable charges for using energy from the grid. So at this point, you're probably wondering which one should I use? Both self-powered and time-based control have their benefits. Time-based control allows you to keep your batteries mostly full, especially if you're in an area with a lot of outages. It allows you to peak shave so you're not paying those super expensive rates during peak periods. And it also allows you to keep the wear and tear down on your batteries by not using them as much when you do. Self-powered mode, however, keeps you off the grid as much as possible. So you're not gonna be paying those non-bypassable charges. You are gonna be using your batteries a little bit more and cycling them more, but that's a trade-off to not paying additional fees. So in the end, it's really up to you on which you prefer. I wanted to not pay PG&E as much money as possible, so I chose to do self-powered. I have found that during the winter months, typically or the month or so around Christmas, I don't really produce enough to fully recharge the batteries. So I do switch it into time-based control during that period. However, we're kind of lucky that the off-season rates for peak and off-peak are relatively similar, so it's not that much of a difference between those two rates. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. I'm also going to continue to do a monthly update here just with production figures and anything interesting that might happen uh, during that month. Uh, if you like these videos and you want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks. Have a good one.